Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the IQ 12. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at around 650 bucks. Let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in three different colors. You got red, black, and the BMW M white version. For the display, you got a 6.78 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1260 by 2800. Now that's 453 for the PPI Patrol. You got glass on the front, glass on the back with an aluminum frame. The phone is IP64, splash resistant. You got HDR10+, plus, up to 3000 nits brightness, and a 144 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 with the Adreno 750 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got 12 or 16 gigs of RAM, 256, 512, or one terabyte of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 14 with FunTouch OS skin on top. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 120 watt fast charge. That means you can charge this phone from zero to 100% in 25 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 64 megapixel periscope telephoto, and a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle. Now you can shoot 8K video at 30 frames per second and 4K video at 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, you got a dedicated gaming mode and you get an IR blaster. All right, so all of that for 650 bucks, what's missing? There's no IP68 dust and water resistant. Again, it's IP64 splash resistant. No 4K video on your front facing camera, no quad HD display, and no wireless charge. All of that for 650 bucks, this is a beast. Now you're also gonna get three years of major updates and four years of security updates. All right, now let me start off by saying this. This is my second phone with the Snapdragon 8 generation three processor and I gotta eat my words. Y'all remember when I said we kinda reached the plateau with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1, Generation 2, all of these processors, they're gonna feel exactly the same. But with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, now we're seeing some difference, okay? You're gonna see major power upgrades with this phone. For 650 bucks, this is a beast. Now also, let me say this. Usually when a phone comes out with a regular version and a pro version, I always say spend the extra couple of bucks and get the pro version. You're going to get all of the bells and whistles. But this is one of those times I like the regular version better than the pro version. And let me tell you the differences. Number one, the price. The regular version, 650 bucks. The pro version, 800 bucks. Okay, so you're going to save 150 bucks. Next, IP68 dust and water resistance. With the pro version, okay, you're gonna get full IP68 dust and water resistance. With the regular version, it's IP64, splash resistant. Now that might be a big deal for you if you work outdoors or you live in outdoor lifestyle and you're always getting wet. That's something to consider. But me, it's not a big deal. IP64 is good enough. Next, the display. Now with the regular version, the resolution is 1260 by 2800. With the pro version, it's 1440 by 3200. So you're getting a better display. Next, the battery life, 5,000 milliamps on the regular version, 5,100 milliamps on the pro version. So basically the same battery life, but here's the biggest difference, wireless charge. With the regular version, no wireless charge. With the pro version, you're getting 50 watt wireless charge and 10 watt reverse wireless charge. But here's my biggest gripe. With the regular version, you're gonna get the flat panel. With the pro version, you're gonna get a curved display. Now, I told y'all already, I'm so over these curved panels. I'm not buying no more phones with curved displays, especially after using phones like this. Phones, <laughs> I said phones. After using phones like this, with the flat panels on the side, the flat edges, you're gonna love this design. Okay, so personally, I would save that extra 150 bucks and go with the regular version. You're getting exactly the same cameras. Okay, basically the same batteries. Ah, the displays, ah, you can argue about the display, you can argue about wireless charge, but who cares about wireless charge if you got 120 watt fast charging? 
charge this phone from zero to 100% in 25 minutes. You don't need wireless charge. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. And on a side note, this is my first day back. I right, hit me up in the comments and let me know if y'all miss me. Okay, I had a little, uh, I had a little social media break. I'm calling it a mental health break. Okay, I took a, I took off about four days of no social media at all, and now I'm back. So let's see what's going down. Okay, so this is the Vivo. I, why do I keep saying Vivo? The IQ, IQ12, which IQ and Vivo. You know, v, IQ is a subsidiary of Vivo. Just like Oppo and OnePlus, Xiaomi and Poco. So you're going to notice the phones pretty much look the same as a Vivo phone. Okay, so this is the IQ12 BMW M Motorsports. Okay, premium partner. I like that. Here we go. If you look closely on the box too, you see the little BMW M colors. Y'all know I'm a huge BMW M fan, so things like this kind of get me moist. On the inside of the box, it kind of looks like carbon fiber. I like how they did that, okay? Inside the box, now this is the kind of stuff I like to see. I, I didn't see this part yet. Let's see, IQ Motorsports, premium partner. That looks like a dope little BMW on the front. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> shoes scared the shit out of me. Late, but still great. White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White I shoes. Love my white shoes. Calm down. Okay, so this is the Okay, shoes, I fall back a little. You got the BMW right here. Okay, ooh, look at this one. Looks like a GT, I like that, I, I like that. Little card right there, save that. This is gonna be your SIM ejection tool. Okay, in a little shape of a heart. Now you do get a case, little gel skin case, nothing too fancy, but I like when they throw the case in the box. Okay, that's a nice touch. Of course, you got your usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. This is gonna be your USB Type-C, the USB Type-C charging cable. All right, shoes, inspect that for quality, do some work, and check this out. In the box, you're getting a 120-watt fast-charging brick. Let's all say it together. Samsung, Google, Apple, Sony. Pay attention, put the charge in the box. And now for the phone, okay? Pop this up. Rah. Check this out. This is the IQ12. Again, the difference between this and the 12 Pro, look at, hold up, hold up, let me, all right. The difference between this and the 12 Pro, let me see if I can, ah, so y'all didn't see me behind the camera, I just filed shoes off the table. Look at the build quality on this one. You're getting a completely flat panel, okay? Now, some would say subtle curves, the subtle of subtlest curves, but you can't really feel them. Okay, now with the, Xiaomi, the 14 Pro, you can kind of feel a little bit of the curve since they put that glass on the top, but it still has that beautiful slab kind of feel to it. This one is exactly the same. The build quality on this phone is amazing. Okay, on the back, it kind of gives it that ceramic feel to it, even though it's just regular glass. There's your triple camera setup, BMW logo. Okay, now, one quick side note. Here's some of my other IQ phones. I like how they did the full stripe on the back. That's kind of that's I kind of like why. I, let me say that again. That's kind of like why I left those on the table. <laughs> I know my, this is my first day back. I'm sorry, y'all. That's the reason I left those on the table because I wanted y'all to see the BMW stripes. This time, instead of going with the stripes, they just kind of went with the little hit on the back. I would have rather have seen the full stripes, but hey, it is what it is. You got your power button. Volume up and down, speaker grill on the top, IR blaster, okay? Now, how many years I kept saying, bring back the IR blaster, bring back the IR blaster? Y'all notice a lot of phones now are coming out with the IR blasters, okay? So we got the IR blaster, there's your SIM tray, USB Type-C charging slot, there's your speaker grill, okay? And this side, nice and clean. On the front, front-facing camera, okay? You got always on display, on-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, so let me pause the video. Let me play with shoes for a minute so she can calm down, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, let me say this. Usually, I recommend buying these phones from Giztop, but this is one of those times I'm gonna recommend against that unless you want the Chinese version. This phone actually comes with the Chinese ROM and the global ROM. 
Okay, so you don't have to buy the Chinese version. You can buy the global ROM. Again, build quality, excellent. Feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. Now, let's talk about one of the things I love about this phone, the biometrics. Watch this. Look at that face unlock. Bong. Bong. Now, I'm, I'm going to look away. You see, I'm not looking at it. As soon as I look at it, bong. Okay? Samsung, Google, this is how face unlock is supposed to work. When you're picking up your phone, as you're picking it up, okay, it's supposed to just pop open. And this works in the daytime or the nighttime. Okay? Minimum light. Next, you got on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works just as flawlessly. Okay? And if you want to, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Okay, so you got excellent biometrics. Next, always on display, fully customizable. Now, when I use these IQ phones and the Vivo phones, especially the BMW ones, I like to kind of have the race car effect. This one is no different. And check this out, the global ROM. Okay, so you don't have to get stuck with the Chinese version, okay, with all that extra bloatware. This is the global ROM. Okay, that's why I recommend buying it from somewhere else other than Giztop, unless you know how to flash these ROMs or you want the Chinese ROM. You don't have to buy it though, okay? All right, so now let's walk through the OS real quick. Now, when you swipe down, here's all your quick toggles. Now, this is gonna be Fun Touch. If you buy the Chinese ROM, it's gonna be Origin OS, I believe. I like Fun Touch. It's fully customizable, okay? So you got all your quick toggles. Anything we need to see here, look at this. You got Monster Mode, okay? Again, the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. This is the upgrade that we've been waiting for. So all of these phones coming out this year, the AI processing power, the GPU, the CPU uh, performance power with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, it is a real upgrade. Remember, when I said the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1, Generation 2, all of these phones, uh, Snapdragon uh, Generation, what, 7, 7 Plus, the 730, 840, all of these phones, they, they basically felt the same. These are the first phones right now that I'm actually feeling a real difference. The Xiaomi 14 Pro, okay, and the iQ12. These are my only two phones with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, and both of these phones, you could feel the difference in performance. Okay, these phones are beasts. Now we're gonna turn on monster mode. Okay, look at monster mode go. Okay, I shoot, like I said, I haven't been down here in a couple of days, so shoes is in rare form. Y'all gotta forgive her. All right, so let's go back to the quick toggles. Anything we need to see here? Let's see, we got monster mode on, split screen multitasking, you got screen record. Okay, you got IQ share. And of course, if you want to, <laughs> sorry, if you want to, you got more. So we got screencast. Okay, you got mini screen mode. Me remote. Now, you can you can use any IR Blaster app that you want. I like me remote, and you can add that as a toggle if you want. But it is a native IR Blaster app built into the phone. Okay, so that's pretty much it with that. Let's go to uh, settings real quick. All right, so let's breeze through the settings. Okay, you can sign into your account. Bluetooth. Wi-Fi, NFC. Now, this is our Bluetooth version 5.4. This is Wi-Fi 7. So this phone is packed to the brim with all of the latest and greatest. Okay, you got OTG, you got Chrome, uh, Chromebook, Nearby Share, and Android Auto. Okay, so that's another reason why you might not want to buy the Chinese version, Android Auto. Okay, so let's exit out of that. Let's see, let's go to display real quick. Now, you got a 144 hertz refresh rate. That's really only gonna come into play when you're gaming or specific apps. Usually it's gonna be at 120 hertz. Okay, resolution. Okay, now you might as well leave it on max. Okay, 1260 by 2800, but you could drop it down to 1080 by 24 if you wanna save some battery. Okay, screen refresh rate, 144. You can also put it on smart switch and it'll drop all the way between one hertz, minimum hertz, okay, and 144 hertz, maximum hertz. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, she, shoes, is, shoes is an ultra trolling form today. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, let's go to, let's see, did we miss anything with the uh, display? Let's see, uh, da, da, da. Okay, you do have screen colors. Now, I like how they spell colors. I, we spell it different, colors. Now, I got it on bright. But you got pro and standard, pretty accurate color schemes on this. Okay, let's go to uh, lock screens. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave this on the uh, BMW themes, but you got a different, a bunch of different other ones if you want. You got some live wallpapers. Okay, so you got legend. You got this one right here. That's kind of, you know, eh, kind of basic. 
And let's see, this is some colors right here. Okay, nothing to see with it. We'll leave it on BMW Legend, why not? Okay, always on display. Now you can have this on all day. Okay, we got different styles. Again, you got different race car themes. Oh, this one is pretty sick too. Might as well leave it on that one. Okay, bunch of different themes. You got your sensory clock, personalized stickers, digital clocks, analog clocks, signature. Okay, you can add your own text. And you got your always on display tools. Okay. Oh, matter of fact, one more thing, notifications. Now, here's one thing I don't like. You can't have all your notifications. You can only pick a certain amount. So right now, you see, I can't have messages. You can only have four different um, notifications. So I got Twitter, X, Instagram, Facebook. But if you want to have all of these, you can't do that. That's one thing I don't like. Okay, let's just keep that in mind. All right, so that's always on display. Colors and styles. Okay, you can change all of these up. Okay. Home settings, you can have your app drawer, you can just have infinite pages. You got different transitions. Okay, you got jump in. Let's see, you got uh, fade, merry-go-round, flip. I like flip, let's leave it on flip. Okay. That's under home screen settings. Let's see, uh, you can lock your layout, Google Discover. Okay, basically all your home screen settings. You got simple mode. All right, if you're a straight new jack or you're buying this for, for an old timer. You see all those cat hairs? A lot of y'all be thinking I'd be cracking the displays, but that's cat hairs. Okay, that's cat hairs on the displays. All right, so that's lock screens and wallpapers. Dynamic effects. Now, here's one of the things I love about Vivo phones and IQ phones. So many different effects to choose from. Okay, so you got all these dynamic effects, real-time blurring, motion blur. Okay, weather backgrounds. Okay, touchscreen animations. Look at that. Now, this is the one that I usually rock. It's a little, it's a little zesty. It's a little zesty, I know. But sometimes I'll be feeling zesty. Hey, don't, don't judge me, man. Don't judge me. Okay, that one uses a lot of battery. Okay, but you're going to get those animations. Okay, ambient light effects. Always on display. Why not? On screen, turn everything on. Okay, light up for incoming calls. Let's go to home screen transitions. Are we went through that? Let's see. Medium, okay, these are different, uh, just effects. I'll leave it on efficient. Matter of fact, let's see, comfortable. I'll leave it on comfortable, why not? I like to be comfortable. Okay, so yes, let's see. Now this is when you enter in your home screen. Okay, you got fly in, fly out. Okay, fill by, I like that one, okay. Remember back in the days you used to have to root your phone to get this kind of stuff? Now it's embedded into the phone's OS, I love that. Okay, let's see, fingerprint animation. Okay. Let's let's go with some. Oh, as a matter of fact, let's go with the color. Now, of course, one has color, so we gotta go with the color. Okay. Fingerprint recognition. Okay. Now these all have different colors. This is the uh, zestiest one. Let's go. Let's let's keep the zesty theme going today. Okay. Your face animation. A little smiley face right there. You know that's pretty cute. I like this one too. You know these are things that you need to see. Okay, charging animation. Now this is pretty dope when you plug your phone in. These are the animations that you're gonna get. I like mine to be pretty vibrant. So let's keep it like that. Let's see, USB. Okay, we'll leave something like that. Little flames right there. Okay, screen off, screen on animation. This is when you turn your screen on, how it's gonna pop in. We can have it fade out, just kind of like the Pixel phones. Okay, there it is, that's that one. Okay, that's pretty much it for that. So that's all these different dynamic effects. Sound and vibration, dual stereo speakers, nice and loud. Not the most bass heavy speakers, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Apps notifications. Let's see anything we need to see here. Okay, uh, notifications, nothing, nothing really there. Now we got system updates, battery, okay? 5,000 milliamp battery. And I will say this, after using this phone, because I had this phone for maybe about a month. Okay, now the embargo lifted on, uh, what, uh, December 6th? But like I said, I was in my social media hiatus. <laughs> I didn't post a video, so I'm shooting it today. But I've been using this phone every day. The battery life is pretty great. It's pretty great, you see I got it on monster mode, but you can switch to balanced or battery saver. Okay, full battery suite right here. You got your RAM and your storage, okay? 16 gigs of RAM, this is a heavyweight right here. 512 gigs of storage. Bro, this is a heavyweight phone right here. 
Like I said, I take this over the pro version, even though I love wireless charge, but if it's gonna have the same exact camera, let me get the build. Let me get the, the slab phone, right? Slab. That's the word of the day. Slab. Let's see, y'all. Uh, security. All right, so you got face unlock, fingerprint sensor. Okay, you got uh, you can, uh, security scans. You got uh, your app pin in. Okay, basically everything. With that, location, nothing to see there. Jovi Home, that's this Vivo IQ stuff. Shortcuts and accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, everything is on deck. You can change the system navigation. You do got digital well-being and parental controls, okay? System about, let's go to about real quick. Okay, Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, 16 plus 16, big boy status. Like I said, man, for 650 bucks, I think 2024 is gonna be a good year in the cell phone game, thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. So that's pretty much it for that. Now, let's check the, here's the basic uh, user interface. Okay, Android 14, all of my Android 14 widgets, zero lag on this phone. Okay, you swipe down, there's all your notifications. You see you see how I got the little, is, you see the zesty, you know, you see like the little animations? I love that. When you swipe your finger across, you see the animations. You swipe up, here's all your apps, and here's all your widgets. And the good thing about that is when you swipe up, you can go straight to widgets. You see that little, <laughs> hold on, let me do that again. Look at that, hold up. Let's exit out of that. Okay, so you could go straight to widgets. And you see that, you see that little light trail with the finger? Stuff like that, L little cute stuff like that makes me happy. All your apps, and you swipe down. Now, let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Let's see what's going down in the uh, peasant sphere. Okay, let's see what's going down with Apple. Any new stuff going? Uh, same bullshit. Okay, <laughs> same. But look how fast and smooth this phone is. I mean, I'm telling you, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to use a Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 phone for yourself in order to see what I'm talking about. But it is wonderful. Now you could do split screen multitasking. Okay, let's um split that real quick. Let's do da da da. Let's do YouTube on the bottom. Okay, so we got YouTube on the bottom, Apple on the top. Okay, there it is. Everything's running nice and smooth. And you do have your quick panels. Okay, so I can take you straight to TikTok. Have that as a floating window. Okay. We could take it straight to, uh, let's go to Google. Okay, back to Apple. Okay, now if we want to, we could just minimize that. Have that as a little floating ball. Open up something like Facebook, and then come right back to it. All right, so this is pretty lit. All right, so all the multitasking works perfectly. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rabier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, holla. Nice and loud. Look, I'm gonna cover up the bottom. This is just the top. Not the most bass in the world, but they definitely gonna get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. For 650 bucks, I cannot complain. All right, so now let's test out this beautiful 6.78 inch AMOLED display. Here we go. Let's get full screen. Basically bezel-less. Excellent viewing angles. Look at that. Beautiful.
Like I said, up to 144 hertz refresh rate, 3,000 nits brightness. I love it. But look at those viewing angles. You can't beat that for 650 bucks. Look at that. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little gaming. And this phone is basically like a gaming phone. You got a dedicated gaming suite. So I just pulled up Asphalt 9. I can swipe over. Check this out. You got your GPU and your CPU. You can switch between battery saver mode, balance mode, or monster mode, get maximum performance. You got your 4D game vibration. Okay, you got your game super resolution. You can block your phone calls and messages. Okay, you got motion controls. Okay, you can do screenshots. Okay, you can screen record. And you got custom settings. So this is all built in. This is basically a gaming phone also. All right, so now we're gonna play a little Asphalt 9. And one thing I wanna mention, if you turn on the 4D game vibration, the haptics on this phone are ridiculous. You're gonna feel a lot of vibrations. Here we go. Okay, Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. Zero lag, zero hiccups on this. Look at that, woo! <laughs> All right, let's get it, yep. All right, pardon me, sir, pardon me. I'm coming for that rent. I can't explain how much this phone is vibrating right now, but I love it. Okay, look, I'm taking the side this way. There we go. Watch the drip, watch the drip. Okay, there it is. Let me turn this down for a minute. All right, gaming on your IQ 12. This could be sold as a straight up gaming phone if they wanted it to, but this is an all around beast, okay? For gaming on this phone, I'm gonna rank this a major, major, major go. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. I would say the camera on this phone is pretty good. Nothing too crazy, okay? For 650 bucks, I'm not gonna say this is the best camera phone out. It does have some drawbacks, such as for video, you can't shoot 4K 60 frames per second from the front face of the camera. Only 1080p at 30 frames per second. But let's go through some of the different shooting modes. So you got snapshot, you got night mode, which you could do wide angle all the way up to 100 times zoom. I mean, this is kind of crazy. And I will say this, this phone did pass the zoom test. I'm gonna show you what, what I mean by that in a minute. You got portrait mode, okay? Now shoes came in right on time. Let me see, I don't wanna activate shoes, but let's see if I could, if I could, let me press the button and see if I activate shoes. Press activation. All right, hold, hold up, let me get a shot. Look, oh, look at this. I, I, look, the camera, like I said, it's not the best camera, but it is pretty good. That was a quick point and shoot shot. Look at that. It is actually pretty good. Oh, look at that. There's another cute one right there, startled her. I right, startled white shoes. So you got a nice portrait mode and you can actually adjust the focal length on your portrait modes. You got regular photos, wide angle, all the way up to 100 times zoom. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what I mean, what I mean by my zoom test. For video, okay, you got wide angle, all the way up to 10 times zoom. You can shoot 8K at 30 frames per second or 4K at 60 frames per second. And you also got more. So you got high resolution, panorama, you got ultra HD documents, you got slow motion, time lapse, long exposure, super moon, astro, tilt shift, pro mode, and uh, fish eye. Now let me show you what I mean by the zoom test. All right, so when I do the zoom test with these phones, you see I'm all the way down the block. And I try to zoom in to that sign on the school. Watch this. Look at that. If you could actually read the words on this sign, and it's actually pretty good. Look how clear that is. And I'm all the way down the block. And I zoomed in at that little sign. You can't see it with the naked eye, but from the phone, I was able to zoom in and get a clean shot. That means this phone passes my zoom test. But I want you to take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
Now let's talk about one of my favorite features, the IR Blaster. Now you've been hearing me talk about this for years. I travel a lot, so this is a huge deal for me. But I'm glad to see that all of these phones are starting to bring back the IR Blasters. Now a lot of people are gonna say, oh, I got a smart TV, I don't need an IR Blaster. You gotta remember, IR Blasters are not only for TVs. You can control your projector, your air conditioner, your portable heater, your DVD player, your fan, anything that you have that has a remote control and you can use a universal remote to pair that up, you can use your phone as that universal remote. Now take a look at this stock IR Blaster footage. All right, so I'm sitting up in the office. I just finished working. Now I wanna turn off all of my TVs using one phone. Okay, so let's start off with the Samsung TVs. Just like that. Another one. Just like that. Now we'll switch over to LG TV. Press the button. Just like that. And now let's switch over to Sony TV. Press the button. Just like that. The IR Blaster is so clutch for me. This is a major go. Now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you just spent 650 bucks on a brand new phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now one of the downsides to buying the regular version as opposed to the pro version, no wireless charge. But keep this in mind. This phone has a 120 watt fast charge. So what does that mean? You can sleep with your phone in the bed just like this. And when you wake up in the morning, if your phone is at 10%, 20%, 30%, whatever, all you gotta do is plug it in and in 25 minutes, it'll be fully charged. That's from zero to 100% in 25 minutes. So if you wake up and your phone is at 30%, by the time you shit, shower, and shave, and you're ready to walk out the door, your phone is gonna be at 100%. Now, when you wake up, it's gonna be next to your bed on a pillow like this. You got your always on display. You can see the time, date, battery percentage, and your notifications. Next, you wake up, the biometrics, 100% flawless activation. You see that face unlock? So I wake up, let's pick up the phone, bong, just like that. First thing I like to do, swipe over. Let's check the uh, <laughs> Google homepage and see what's going down in the uh, tech sphere. Okay, so we got the Nubia Z60. I will be reviewing that. I shout out to Nubia. They just reached out to me, asked me did I want to check it out. I said, of course. Okay, of course. So we got the Nubia Z60. Matter of fact, before we can get into the tech, let's check the weather. All right, let's see what's going down. Okay, 46 degrees, partly cloudy. It is um, starting to be, uh, get cold out here in New York City. As they say, tis the season. <laughs> tis the season. Now let's go to a Google Home page. Okay, so we got the Nubia Z60. We're going to get into that soon. Let's see, Nicki Minaj. Let me calm down, featuring J. Cole. Okay, and like I said, I've been on social media for a few days, so today was my first day back on. It's been a lot of shit going down. I think we need to talk about some of this stuff. Let's see, best gifts for gamers. Okay, now, if you notice, you see that little light trail when I move my finger? That makes me smile every time. I know, super zesty, but it is what it is. Okay, our favorite flip phone gets a new look. Okay, Moto coming out with a new look. Uh, a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Okay, yo, now they got the beach for $99 at Costco's. Look, it's time to start Christmas shopping. I promise y'all for the next, let me see, what's today's date? Today is the 7th. For the rest of this week, and the, the maybe next week also, I'm going to be doing some holiday gift guides. Because I got a bunch of little knick-knack stuff I want to show y'all. So we'll do that. Let's see. Nothing Phone Ones gets Android 14. Okay. God of War. I think I think I heard this God of War is about to be free. I could be wrong, but I heard God of War about to be free. Let's see. Mortal Kombat. Quan Chi. Now, shout out to everybody who was in my Mortal Kombat stream the other night. <laughs> y'all... I, I, I was sipping that Hennessy, so I was getting out of control, but y'all see me. Go watch go watch that stream. Watch the end of that stream when I was in my final form. Y'all see me catching them W's, bro. Don't sleep on me, man. All right. <laughs> I know I'm trash. All right, so we got uh, PlayStation DualSense. Okay. The Pulse 3D. I would, I would stay far away from these Pulse 3Ds unless you could find them for 75 bucks. I wouldn't get them. I don't like them. Let's see anything else we need to see. Uh, these beloved Bose earbuds are on sale for their lowest price. Yeah, then just click on it. Let's, why not? Let's see. Let's see the price. Okay, we got these are the 29% off. Okay. But you see how fast everything is going on this phone? You see the animations. Okay, we got trending searches. Okay, PlayStation into their sale. 
Okay, New York is worried about congestion price and impact parking. Okay, Pixel 8, 549. Mm. Now, would I get the Pixel 8 or would I get this phone? Honestly, I'd probably go with the Pixel 8 because I'm more of a camera kind of guy. So I'd probably go with the Pixel. I'd probably go with the Pixel. We got the Nubia Z50. I never bought this one because I seen the 60 getting ready to drop. I should have got into it. Let's see. Xiaomi announces the Redmi 13R. <laughs> Xiaomi and Redmi, man. They be putting it. They be you know, Xiaomi, Xiaomi and Redmi 13R. <laughs> Hold up. Xiaomi announces Redmi 13R. Yeah, man. Like Xiaomi, they be coming out with so many phones, man. It's hard to keep track. Okay, the DualSense Edge, bro. The DualSense Edge is why I was able to upgrade my my um my combos the other night. This controller is the truth. It's worth two hundred bucks in my humble opinion. All right. Anyway, so this is the Google homepage. Let's exit out of that. And yeah, there's nothing really to see there, but you see how fast and smooth that is. Exit out. Bang. Next, okay, let's do some little work. Let's take it over to J.G. Wentworth. I'm getting emails from J.G. Wentworth. That's how you know you're getting old. When you get emails from J.G. Wentworth, yeah, hold on. Let, 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 tell me, calm down, bro. Calm down, bro. Okay, here with the bro. Calm down, bro. All right, so that's my email segment of the day. But if I want to, we could do split screen multitasking. So I could do my emails, and I could watch some YouTube videos at the same time. Okay. So I can be checking out all my emails. Look how smooth that is. And watching some YouTube videos. Okay, so let's exit out of that. Bang. Next, let's do a little social media. Now, if I want to, I got all these apps right here. I can customize these apps. But if I just wanted to open up TikTok, I could just open that up first. Okay. Continue with Facebook real quick. Why not? Log into this TikTok. In the meantime, minimize that. Okay, hold up. We got a little. You see now, this is live videos. Okay, it was it was it was still loading up. That's why. Okay, so we'll we, we'll save that TikTok for a minute. All right, so let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, let's go to Twitter. Let's go to mentions. Like I said, I've been off off the grid for a minute. Let's see what's going down. Uh, now I did I did happen. To, I, I'm lying. I did comment on one post on, on the MKBHD post. I did comment on that. Somebody said um. Thieves return stolen Android phone after realizing it's not an iPhone. We don't want this. <laughs> and I made a little comment, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 you know, I mean, when I say off social media, it doesn't mean complete off. That means every. That means I'm not hard on social media. That means I'm maybe five minutes. That was what, two days ago? <laughs> no, that was three days ago. Three days. All right, that's right, right, right when I started my hiatus. <laughs> All right, let's see. So it's a lot of stuff going down on Twitter, basically with that, with that story. Anything else we need to see on Twitter? Let's see. Um, I don't know what's up with this I hate Apple guy. I don't know why he think I don't like him. I don't know. I, don't, I ain't got no beef with I hate Apple. I don't know. So he, he left a comment saying me and him don't get along. I don't even know you, bro. Like, I, I don't you know beef. Yeah. You see, look right here. It says, I don't think you missed it a lot. It's all good. Flossie and I don't get along. I, I don't even know. Who is this guy? Let me see. Um, I don't even know you, bro. I don't I don't even know you, bro. I, I don't how do I not get along with you? If I told you to go eat a dick in the past or something, maybe that was I was just one of those moments, but <laughs> I got no beef with you, bro. Like I said, in 2024, I'm, I'm squashing all beef. Alright, so I hate Apple. If you want to squash our imaginary beef, man, let's squash it. Yo. I don't want no beef with nobody in 2024. Alright. Anyway, this is how your Twitter's gonna look. Let's see. Um, <laughs> it's gonna turn to Thanksgiving. Yeah. Imagine so you pull up to somebody's house for Thanksgiving and you eating this shit. Nah, bro. And again, at any moment, I could go right back to TikTok, but I'm gonna just exit out of that. All right. So here's how your Twitter's gonna look. Let's see anything going on on Twitter. Uh, Floss remains the goat of phone reviews. Let, let me get in like that. Let me get in like that. Shout out to Chuck Finley. All right. So there's a man of t of good taste right there. Okay, let's see. Somebody said, I've been watching Floyd since 2016. I have never had an issue with him. Just a casual, funny black dude. The cat has been annoying him since then, though. What cat? Oh, y'all talking about cats? Hold up. Oh, yeah, see, I, and I, don't, I don't know how I got involved in this this post. A lot of y'all been talking a lot of shit. I don't know. Look, man, I don't like to get involved with this, um, which tech reviewer is better. It, there's no such thing as a better tech reviewer. It's which reviewer is better for you. Which tech reviewer speaks your language? Right, which tech reviewer has the voice that you like? You know, it doesn't. we all review on the same products. 
It all depends on the delivery. Like, who has a better delivery that you like and you support them? Me? I don't, you know, I, I don't care. I, I, I like everybody, man. <laughs> That's it. It's all good. I like everybody. <laughs> I know. Like, I, I'm, I'm trying to be politically correct, bro. Fuck out of here. All right, somebody put flaws. It's King. I already like that. All right. Anyways, here's how your Twitter's going to look. You know. Oh, look. Hold up. Let me see. What was this? Um... Yeah, see, this. Um, somebody was telling me about this um, OnePlus having thought protection. Remember, that, w that wasn't always the case. But you got to remember, Oppo has always had that. But OnePlus is slowly, slowly becoming Oppo. So now OnePlus does have thought protection. I think I showed y'all that on my OnePlus 11 review. They do have it now, though. But they do. They, I, I think they got it on the OnePlus Open also. Like this shit right here. People was asking me about the backbone. You comparing the backbone... To the PlayStation Portal, come on, bro. Look at the look at the controllers on this shit. The controller feels like some cheap garbage emulator. I would not spend. I would not spend more than. Let's see how much they selling this one for. Because I bought mine, I think I spent a hundred dollars for it. I would buy this one for forty bucks. You know, but a hundred dollars? Hell no. Hell no. I right, um. Somebody asked me about the Duracell, bro. The Duracell. This this might be one of my favorite purchases. Okay, I've been using this every single day. Okay, shout out to my man Viper. Oh, tonight's um, Friday. I'm, I'm supposed to pull up on Viper's stream tonight. All right, Viper, if you watch this video, I am going to pull up on your stream tonight at some point. Anyway, so that's how your Twitter is going to look. Next, let's take it over to Facebook. But you see how fast these apps open and close? Okay, who this? My man Brian. Okay. Oh, this is Joey. That's my man Joey right here. Old school Joey. One of my guys from back in the days. I have my own girl, Monica. Let's look at, look at Amaya. This is 11 years ago. Oh, look at Amaya 11 years ago. I was there, too. That, I'm, I'm the one who took that photo. That was 11 years ago. Damn, time to fly. Uh, my homegirl, Candy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, here's how you uh, look at Nas Esco. This is how it's going to look. Okay, my man, Robert. <laughs> why you do I look like Why you had to do the face like that in the wedding photo, bro? Don't do it like that, bro. Uh, hold on, now look at any moment. Let's, um, let's go back real quick. Hold up. We could do split screen multitasking. All right, so let's do, let's do, let's see, um, what's safe? We'll do Chrome, okay? Okay, got some tabs open on the bottom. Okay, PlayStation. All right, so now I can be doing my Facebook at the same time, but I just want y'all to see how smooth this is. Come on, look at this. You can't even do this on your iPhone. You cannot do that. Anyway, so here's how your Facebook is going to look. Let's see, did we miss anything? Oh, who's this? Uh, oh, this is my man. Uh, Y'all remember? What was his name? Walker? Was this Kenny Walker? Y'all remember this dude? Uh, only real Knicks fans know this player. I believe this was Walker. What was his name? I believe this was Walker. Let's see. Um, let's, re let's take it to the comments. I believe his name was Walker. Yeah, Kenny Skywalker. I'm telling you, bro. I am a real Knicks fan, bro. I am a real Knicks fan. Don't ever get it twisted. I don't. Y'all don't, don't remember this Kenny Skywalker right here, boy. I don't forgot the Skywalker part, but, but I remember that was Walker. Yeah. Right, anyway, De La Soul. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so here's how your Facebook gonna look. Look how smooth this is. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this phone. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Okay. Let's let, let's go ahead and turn this volume down. Now. Um, I'm getting so tired of seeing these fake renders, man, because it's just making me want to go to one of these phone companies and, and show them these, these renders and be like, bring this shit out. Stop bringing us the same phones every week. Look, 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 look. <laughs> yeah, she, 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 look, yeah, look, yeah, look, 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 look. Yeah, y'all got to see Shoes' face. She looked at it like, come on, bro. I was, look, look at my uh, my post um, December goals. Be fully present and aware. <laughs> okay. Try to do my best. Let go of attachments to what I know isn't for me. Amaya coming through with goals, you know. She was saying, you know, so this, this, Amaya, Amaya, man, she, I got to learn from Amaya, man. Amaya is coming through with goals, you know. I need to start setting goals, you know. You know what I'm saying? Instead, of, I'll just be waking up doing shit. I just wake up in the morning like, yo, my goal is to see if I see how much shit I can eat in one day, you know what I'm saying, before I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> I need to start setting goals, though. All right, anyway, so here's how your TikTok is going to look. Okay. Okay, nice and TikTok-ish. Okay, um, I used to watch this show, too. Oh, hold up. Oh! Bro, nah, nah, hold up. One. Hold up. Oh! Bro! 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 That was a double whammy. Not only was it a slap, but watch his head hit the table. That's why they got to have that cushion on the table. Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay, what is this? This is my man bought at work. Like, what, what, what phone is this? Let's see. Alexa Power Smart Glasses. Hmm, I might have to. I might have to check these out. I might have to check these out. Let me get and like this shit. It's black ass. Let me like this shit for his black ass. All right, let's. <laughs> that's my. That's my homeboy. Though. All right, see, so we got the New York plate. Let's see, fade plate. Oh, you know, now look, see shit like this. If the cops catch you with some shit like this, not only they're gonna take your car. But when they get you to the precinct, they probably going to beat you. They're going to they, they put hands on you. All right, they don't like this kind of shit. When they take you to the prison, they're going to put hands on you. But I'm going to save this anyway because um, I'm going to have to come back to this. I think I will have to come back to this. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Anyway. Rakata. Oh, oh. Ref. What is the ref doing? The ref need to get fined for that one, bro. The ref just going to stand here and let my man get pummeled like that, bro. What are you doing? Oh, look at that. She attacked with a taser. Hold up, shit. I know she don't got it. I know she's not going to stick a taser out the wind, out that hole right there. Well, let's see what's going down. Let's, let's see what's going down. Okay. I, I'm in too deep now. I'm in too deep. We all in too deep. We got to see what happens. Oh, okay. Hold up. It's a little flimsy door right there. Yeah. He should have just kicked that shit, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> they got big man right here. Come on, big man, bum rush that shit, yeah. All right, dude, y'all, y'all, y'all want to see the rest of this shit though again? All right, they, they, they taking, they taking a long time. To, all right, this look like a long video too, man. Come on, like, what y'all doing, yeah? Are we going to see any action or what? Yeah. That's a little flimsy door right there, too. Big man, big man could have, big man could have went through that easily. Yeah. Easily. All right. See, you see him saying shit like that? I know, man. I know. Oh, uh, Tory Lanez. Hold up. This was one of the, yo, this was the, the hardest Tory Lanez freestyle in the history of Funk Mesta Flex, bro. When Tory had on that Balenciaga joint, yeah. bro. Yo, if y'all if y'all want to hear Tory Lanez, I know a lot of y'all think Tory Lanez is like a singer. Google the Funk Master Flex Tory Lanez nine minute freestyle, bro. This dude right here, man. This is this is when I actually started respecting Tory Lanez, yeah? respecting. Anyway, here's how your TikTok is gonna look. Let's 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 wrap, let's wrap this up. Let's take it over to the gram. All right, let's see what's going down on Insta. Look, look, look at Mark Ravier. Look at Mark Ravier. What's he talking about? Hold up. <laughs> Yo, look at what Ravi at. Yo, look at what Ravi at. Yo, yo, this is why I love this dude, man. My man be out, my man be out in the community going hard, yo. Going hard, yo. Not asking for no money or nothing. Just out there brightening up people's day, man. This is my guy, man. Let's get him like that, yo. Let's get him like that photo, yo. All right, anyway. Let's see what's uh, uh, Charleston White. Says only broke people care about the community. and says he switched up once he got rich. I can't stand Charleston White. What y'all think about? I can't stand this dude, yo. I, I, oh, I can't stand this dude. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's see what's going on. Uh, how MK3 was made, which was my. This was when I was at my peak of Mortal Kombat performance. Was MK3? That was at my. I was. I was, I was at my prime, bro. All right, hold on. We got here. Okay. All right. My man getting it. Oh, all right. All right. What's going on here? Okay, watch this. New gift card scam. They got a new gift card. Every season, it's a new scam coming out. Yeah? You know, hey, you know. All right, hands up. This is so dumb. He said, this is the dumbest shit I ever seen in my life. Okay. All right. Now, this is my guy right here. Hold up. Cut baseboard kickers with them laces that's thicker than pinky right now, not back then, is wicked work. And the straps need a mommy makeover because they hanging harder than Shaq on the rim. These two-tone leather Peter Pan pieces couldn't get rocked in Neverland. Bro. As soon as you stuff your feet in them narrow nikes, your toes going to be piled on top of yeah, your Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I got to save that. My man said this is wicked work, yeah? That's not even nasty work. That's wicked work. All right. Okay, anyways, here's our guy. Let me Calvin. All right, that's for you, Calvin. Let's see, anything else going down? Let's just, you got Hassan Campbell. We didn't even talk about the Hassan Campbell tragedy. It's been a, the Hassan Campbell saga. You know, and let me know if y'all want to talk about that in another video, man, because 
It's been a lot of a lot of funny business. Let's see. Charlemagne the God says Biden wants Biden to deliver Christmas gift to America and drop out of the race. Hey man, yeah, I, I might have to, I might have to agree with him on that one. All right, let's see um, who we got here. I don't really care. Then again, who cares? Who? <laughs> then again, who actually cares? It. All right. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it's crazy out here. It's crazy in these Instagram streets, bro. All right, these Instagram streets is getting crazy, yeah. It's my guy right here, man. I'll be getting a little motivational workout tips. You know what I'm saying? As I'm eating a fucking slice of pizza. I'm watching, I'll be watching motivational videos while I'm busting down pizza, drinking Hennessy. What the fuck is wrong with me? Yeah? All right, 10 airlines that accept pets in the cabin. Oh, word? Right, the shoes don't get any ideas because you ain't going nowhere. All right, anyway, so here's how you, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Here's how your Instagram is going to look. Okay? Beautiful. Now, let me just check one more thing. I see, y'all see they coming for Diddy. They coming for Diddy so hard right now. Okay, you can do Instagram split screen. So this way you can do Instagram and Facebook at the same time. Okay, everything works. Anyway, RDA, regular daily activities. And oh, let's check one last thing. Oh, look, let's see, they, they, they going in on Hassan. Yeah, well, listen, they going in on my man. All right, let's see. You got, all right, let's turn this down real quick. Okay, so you can um you can do picture in picture for YouTube, or you can just exit out of it. So, RDA regular daily activities. This phone passes with flying colors, and like I said earlier, the Snapdragon Eight Generation Three. This is the future. Okay, so this might be, I would say, the second. I'm not gonna say the cheapest because I believe the regular Xiaomi Fourteen. I think that one is around the same exact price. Would I take the Xiaomi 14 over the Vivo? Probably so. The regular Xiaomi 14, even though it's gonna be a little bit smaller. The Vivo is gonna be the same exact size. So if you want something the same height and width, okay, 6.78 inches, this might be the way to go. Anyway, let's kinda wrap this video up. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the IQ12 a major major go the only thing that's missing is wireless charge quad hd display and full ip68 dust and water resistance and if those things are important to you spend the extra 150 bucks and get the iq12 pro however keep in mind you got the vivo x100 now i'm gonna review that next week the vivo x100 pretty much the same phone okay from the same manufacturer with all of the bells and whistles I'll do a side by side. We'll see. We'll check, we got. We got to check the build quality and all of that. The Vivo is probably going to have a little bit better camera, but we'll see. But as of right now, if you got six hundred and fifty bucks to spend and you want a phone, remember you're going to get three years of guaranteed Android updates and four years of guaranteed security patches. This is a beast right here. Anyway, Vivo, <laughs> Vivo. <laughs> anyway, IQ twelve. Okay, BMW M Motorsports, mm. flat panel design, excellent biometrics, speakers, display, camera. This is an all around win. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. I know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. One more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes, pitch it go. It's your boy Floss, I'm back. Deuces. Spock won the beam up.
guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers. So uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.